Football! All right, boys. Uh, we got a. This is kind of sad because this is our last 2023 football season film breakdown. We're going to do a ton of film breakdowns throughout mm-hmm. the offseason, but like yeah. in terms of reacting to the, what we just saw. But it's also super. It's our first Super Bowl film review mm-hmm. here on the O line committee because we launched this podcast about seven months ago and we're going to break down a Super Bowl game winning drive by the Kansas City Chiefs, dudes. And this was inevitable. <laughs> this this is why I picked the Chiefs, right? This is why I picked the Chiefs to win in the podcast, and because of this exact moment, I watched them do it against the Bills. I watched them do it against the Ravens, and I was like, if you give Patrick Mahomes the football left with any amount of time left on yeah. the clock, they're going to win the football game. Yeah. And what he did with a minute fifty three to drive down and tie the game at the end, and then after the Niners go down and kick a field goal. Everyone was thinking it. Even Niners fans, I guarantee you, even Brock Purdy was sitting on the sideline like, probably wasn't enough. It's a wrap. Probably wasn't enough to stop what this dude can do. He's incredible. They executed at such a high level. Dude showed up when they needed to. And, I mean, Mahomes is building one of the greatest dynasties to ever do it at 28 years old. Dude, they showed Debo during the game when he had the ball, and he just kept, like, hands over his mouth like, that's it. Mm -hmm. Nothing to do. And, And honestly... I think the one thing for me is the fact that they actually put the ball in Patrick's hands on that third down. That remember that there was like the a thirty-seven down. point. Well, it was that's, the down, fir- yeah. that's the first play we're going to look at. Yeah. It was technically yeah. fourth down, but that's the one of the things that I was just talking about is when you give him the ball and you're basically like, we're not punting it. You give yeah. him four downs, he is like, I'm going to fucking rip roar this thing <laughs> up and down the field. And guess what? If no one's open, I'm just going to run it. Now I was kind of questionable on that quarterback draw when he ran up the middle. I was like. That was out of fucking nowhere. Like that is not a Patrick Mahomes that's like thing. Twenty yard run, man. But yeah, when he kept that ball on fourth down and ran, and nobody was looking at him, I was like, "You guys are fucking genius." Bosa Bosa took the cheese, and we'll, I'm sure we'll look at it here. But he took the cheese a little too much. And Hard. if you look at it from the start of the game, Romo was Romo was praising the backside pursuit from Bosa multiple times on those run plays. Right, mm-hmm. look at him run down Pacheco here off the backside. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Guess what? Andy Reid saw that too. Matt sure Nagy saw that too. And they're like, oh, you want to run down here and close like this? Cool. Easy enough, Patrick. Pull it. Right? I mean, they just chess matched against these dudes so well. Yeah. So well, well. let's and, and all the things you just talked about, including Nick Bosa over pursuing, came to fruition on this fourth and one. Yep. So we're going to dive into this. If you're new to the O-line committee, uh, hello. It's Jeremiah Searles and Alex Boone. 16 years of combined trenches experience in the NFL. I'm Phil Mackey. I played football in eighth grade. You can find O-Line Committee merch at olinecommittee.com, Clean Pocket Club, Pancakes, etc., and follow us on all social media platforms. All right, let's run this from a couple different angles, boys. You tell us what's happening. So fourth and one, right? This is fourth and one. Bosa. Boop. Got him. And then you got got Kelsey as the lead blocker. three options here. Three options here for, for Patrick Mahomes, right? So... Again, Andy Reid's going, got to have it, Super Bowl on the line. We're not taking the ball out of 15's hands, right? So go back real quick, Mac. Pause it right when he rolls out, right? So right when the play starts and right as he starts taking off to the I'll right. One. Right. Right now. Pause, Pause it. So right here, what you've done is 10 was never an option. Right, ten was never an option. They were never going to hand That's this ball fake. to Pacheco. Yeah. That's a troop fake to try and hold a linebacker. Really, you're trying to hold fifty four. So now, when you get out here into this space, this is a true triple option type of thing for Mahomes. One, you hit Kelsey in the flat if no one runs with him. Right. That's your first read. Your second read is going to be Rasheed Rice is going to show up here on the top part of your screen when you play this out. Right. Right there. Right, Rasheed Rice is going to be open. Ready right he's there. technically right. open. He's technically your second read because you're just trying to get a first down. But the safe read, once you see Fred Warner turn his back like he did there, is to just run. Yep. Right. As soon as he saw 54's back of his his nameplate, as soon as he could read Fred Warner's nameplate here, he knew I need one yard. Keep this drive alive. Why risk him dropping this? Why risk putting this ball in the air at all? Right? So right, I see here, Fred right Warner. Yeah. Like I see right here, this dude's running with Kelsey to the flat. Rasheed Rice, I know he's going to pop open. I see Fred Warner's nameplate. Nope, no chance. I'm just running this football. 
great block by Rasheed Rice there to great. take a necessary hit off of Mahomes, and then just go right there. I mean, that's just cerebral play from 15. Did, did, any, uh, did anyone else think that Travis Kelsey was going to take this snap and take it right up the middle when he yes, stopped right I did. here? Yes, I did. When he stopped right here, I, I, thought, thought, I thought he was going to snap. I was so, like, oh, he's going to take it underneath yep, center and just so keep me sneak it for one right there. Technically, that's your fourth option because that's going to draw somebody in. Like, look, the linebackers are already like looking right at him. Like, what's going on? Like, this whole play concept, just total fuckery. And the whole end result is Patrick just running around the edge, getting the first down. Look at Bosa's the, body language, by uh, the way. The fact that everyone thought that they weren't going to get this, I was like, "Are you crazy?" It's Patrick Mahomes. It's one did Bo- yard. Did Bosa? So Bosa did what he's been doing most of the game, right? Which is yeah. he's going to try and grab Pacheco. And, the, and by the way, like Bosa, Bosa's gambling. If they hand off to Pacheco, I make a tackle. We win the Super Bowl, right? It's yes. over, right? That's why his whole mindset. Out of I this- mean, technically, that's not his responsibility. If he's supposed to be pursuing, the linebackers should be coming over the top. But at the same time, they think it's naked, so they all drop. This whole play just works because everyone thinks it's something else, but really, it's just Patrick keeping the ball around. It's really a naked. It's not even a run because you can yeah. tell because Creed's not going upfield. See how he stops. He doesn't even go upfield at the linebacker. So this is just a really a boot. And then all of a sudden, Rasheed Rice is open, and Patrick's like, fuck it, I'll do it myself because, well, technically, I'm the one that got us here, so I should be the one to get credit for this. I'm not even against it. I love it. Don't throw it. Run it. Yeah, this is just a uh, – I mean, the game within the game, Andy Reid wins that one. Oh, for right? sure. That's just the way it goes. So right, we're, this, not, we're not going to go front. every play on this drive, but the, the next two pass plays were kind of short pass plays for a first down that may have set something else up. Do, so. you, do you have yardage for these, by the way? Do you know this what these is, yeah, this is? A, this is a first and 10 right here. All right, so first and 10. Clock's running, right? Clock's running. This is where Jarek McKinnon, I'm welcome sorry, back. Is, my bad. This is, a, this is the third, third down play. Yeah, this third is down. The, this is the zero blitz on third down. Yep. Kelsey, Jarek McKinnon, Jarek McKinnon, welcome back. Been an IR. The whole time here, they run a set a six up look, right? You've got seven up, seven up on the line of scrimmage here. You know you're hot. You know you know Patrick Mahomes knows this. The Niners know it. They know if we are gambling that someone has to get home, and no one does. Nope, no one does. Yeah. What this is a phenomenal job by the Kansas City offensive line and Jarek McKinnon on communication, understanding. Hey, we are going to our right. Fifty four is our declared guy. Left tackle, left guard, you are locked on to these two defensive linemen. You don't care about anything else. Other way. We're, no, we're, we're going, going, we're going, going to the right. Yep, going right here. Left tackle, good. left guard, you're locked on to the D tackles over here. McKinnon, you protect inside out. Right? You have 48 to 31. Whoever comes first, right? You see his head scanning back and forth right there. Okay, Boom. so he so he did slide. Yeah, so Humphrey slid left. left. Slid left Which there. is fine. They left. go left. It's fine. Yep. But he's right. Jarek McKinnon you're, you're, stepping you're, you're, up. Jarek McKinnon stepping up in that gap and making that block on Fred Warner against allows the All this Pro pass, allows this pass to get off. That's now, why Forty Niners fans are going to watch this and say, "It looked like it might have been a hold." Listen, they're holding every play. Stop doing that. It's the game on the so line again. here. This, I don't know. I don't know, Jim. I don't know, Jim. Good luck seeing it through the right tackle, guys. Yeah, that's that's one of those where you're it. not going to see that. He's trying to keep his hands, his palms up. <laughs> hey, and I love I loved this protection. It's great pro, but what, Mac, you play this. When he throws this ball, Travis Kelsey makes this block that nobody sees that's going to end up springing this guy right there. Boom. Oh. That right there. <laughs> if you want the rock, you better block, right? That block right there just sprung Rasheed Rice free. Also, That's what championship watch, teams watch do. Donovan Smith take two here, right? Watch Donovan Smith take two, right? So you can only block three to that side. They bring four to that side. Watch him at the top of the rep. Just get enough of a hand on 31 to just not let him get to Mahomes, right? So he's setting here. Boom, linebacker fires. He knows, hey, I got Bosa here. Best One of the best pass rushers ever, right? Boom, boom. And then the last second here, he understands, I just got to get a hand on this guy. Yeah. Right? Just a quick hand. Right, because you don't know if Mahomes has to hold that for half a second longer. That's a strip sack. Yep. Right. That's a great job by Donovan Smith taking two when you know you you're short a guy. Can I real quick too just say Creed Humphrey, love you, love you, dude. Clean pocket Get the ball club up. multiple weeks over. But this is this was a regular thing throughout this Super Bowl. Patrick yeah. Mahomes does it all, man. dude. You want the ball? Roll the ball on the ground. I'll figure it out, dude. I'll like the it. dude is fucking <laughs> special, man. Get over, like, I can't get over how awesome this is. Like even Tony Romo in the game was like, ah, worst time for a bad snap. Worst time. Patrick's like, fuck it, I'll do it. It's all good. <laughs> 
Dude's <laughs> unfazed, man. Look at this. Fred Warner breathing down his face. He's like, I'm just going to deliver but this. But even then, he doesn't even really get hit. No. It's cover zero. If you're not hitting the quarterback on cover zero, you that's a up. problem. That's a <laughs> problem. Like, someone needs to hit that dude. But he's just so good at getting the ball out when he has to. So now we've got, okay, new set of downs here. There's going to be a couple short passes, two more passes that convert a first down as they matriculate their way down the field. Do, 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 do. Easy pocket. Dude, Al Gretti stepped right in. Joe Thuneaton didn't miss him at all. Sorry. Love the guy. Trey Smith here, one-on-one with Eric Armstead. Pacheco. I mean, this was big. He didn't get out of bounds, right? So everyone's like, oh, okay. Make him use a timeout. But again... They're it under really center. It didn't really matter though because but this this, was, this is another way of them going under center so that they don't put like dime on the field. Dude, they're in thirteen. Right? They're in thirteen they're personnel. In thirteen right? personnel. This is this is something that you as I was watching this, I was like, wow, they're in thirteen personnel in a two minute situation. Yeah, right. That's crazy. That's, that's playing that's chess. That's playing chess, not checkers. Because you understand when you're in thirteen personnel like that, you can't just put your pass rushers on the field, Boom. and you can't just put your pass rushing defensive linebackers in there, right? And you can't put your dime and be like, "Hey, we're gonna have all safeties in here." You can't. You just you're creating mismatches all over. Which I mean, they do a good job covering it, but now you've just got a bunch of big guys in space. Like that should be Dre Greenlaw right there. I mean, rip that sucked. Oh, yeah. But um, that was. Big. I mean, that's just back, another. Back, piece. That's quick. just checkers. That's just chess and checkers, man. Of just understanding. Hey, I got really good pass catching tight ends guys that can stretch the field like i don't need to put receivers out here right now and not only that but when you get them in base you don't get exotic fronts you get very simple shit which is easier for us to figure out and block which is why you play chess while they're playing checkers and you're like dude this is almost too easy like literally look at all these guys on the field they're all big guys like they're all big guys that's what you want big fatties that can't rush the pocket so that all of a sudden you get 15 a ton of time granted they do cover it well but he gets this ball on a great check down, which gets him yards. Like that's He's looking down the field here. He wants. He, he sure wants is. He wants there, it, man. Yeah, that was go a shot. The, they, that was a shot play. They go to the wide. The go to the wide. Do you have the wide on this one? Yeah. yeah. Where was the shot? Where was he trying to go with the ball? Is he going to Rashid? Rashid? It's got to yeah. be Rashid. Yeah. Cro- there's a, two crossers. Andy. One Reed, of the tight ends comes dog, across. Man. Yeah, he wanted the shot play here. All right, so he wanted he wanted to have Kelsey. He wanted to have that safety. Oh, he, he does. Have, he bites it. He wants to have that safety oh, bite. Oh man, no, it wasn't there. No, they they switched it off really well. Yeah, right. Did. The hope there is that the corner and the safety bite on that out route on Kelsey. Right, that the corner tries to jump it. Right, the hope here is that that Ward sees Kelsey breaking out and tries to jump that, and then their Rice is going through. But they, yeah, they do a great job covering it on the back end. And so, yeah, just Mahomes not doing stupid things, not trying to force it in a big moment. Check down, take what the defense gives me, survive to fight another day. I mean, that's – can't go broke taking a check down. No, he wanted it, dude. He, he wanted did. it so yeah. bad. But that's, again, that's where, that's where I mean, as much as I love Josh Allen, that's sometimes where Josh gets himself in trouble. Yeah. Right? Like, I can, I can make this throw. So that's second down it. here, second and six-ish. Another four-man rush. Quick screen. Creed Humphrey again. Getting out there in space. This is a great you. Oh, this is a great call, right? Super aggressive defense. Evan going out. You know you're getting man coverage, right? You know you're getting man coverage here. So it's really a one man screen. Yeah. Like we used to run this play with the the Vikings. I can't remember what we used to call it, but it's essentially just hey, it's a one man screen. Whoever's uncovered to the play side, you're the one getting out, right? So center, you're the one getting out here. Wait, the right. Vikings completed a successful screen this was play. Seventeen, <laughs> twenty seventeen yeah, with old Patrick F line. <laughs> <laughs> Pat yeah. offline, let's go. It's a great, it's Second a great rounder, play, right? Yeah, third. You third. know, if you're getting, yeah, again, this is all, this is a man coverage play. So that's why go back. You see the pre snap indicator, right? So you motion. This is why motions are so important. I think people forget motions. Like you Where see him is? running with the motion, thirty one. Like I know we don't get the whole picture here, but yeah. like when you have this play, I guarantee you, if they would have bumped over a zone, Patrick Mahomes is checking out of this play. See, he's watching the motion go across. Yep. He goes, he okay, motion, go, man, man coverage. Like, we're good. Everyone's going to run him off. I know that he's got man coverage right there. Bang. Go back. So because it's man, Kelsey's you know that, that Kelsey's going to take that dude out of the play. And exactly, correct. but right. go back. Okay. He also is trying to run a natural pick, and they always tell you be an actor, not a tractor. So as he comes across the middle here, see Pacheco, he crosses, He tries to like fake like he's going across the line. He comes back out and watch Kelsey. He's going to try and get in front of. I don't know who that is. It's supposed to be Dre Greenlaw, but it's not. See how he's running right at him? He's trying to create a natural pick, which will slow him down. And then at the same time, he try he gets a little bit of Fred Warner too. 
Yep. But by the way, I thought this spot was terrible. I thought this that was a first down for sure. For sure, I thought that was a shitty spot. I, the the refs they were doing all they could to feel like fucking Niners were giving it to you. <laughs> three by one or one by three. What are you, 12 so this, is, this, this was the one draw. Here. This was, I can't tell if this was called or if this was just Mahomes saying screw it. That's why like, I was like, it looks, so it looks weird. like a call, but I mean, he just needs the one. I don't think it was intended to go 20 yards, right? He just, he's looking for the one yard first down. Fred Once Warner, again, Fred Warner was so upset on this play. Yeah. Like Fred Warner, Fred Warner is going to think about this play until next September. Like this is going to be the one because he loses sight of Patrick Mahomes. Right at this point, the defense is gassed. Right, they've been pass rushing, boom, boom. You go across here, Fred Warner, right here, bites on that, and he's just right here. Like that's just a bad angle. That's it. Just a, that's just a bad angle that he took on, and that's because he's tired, dude. Fred runs like no one else in the league. That dude's motor is nonstop. Everyone gets tired. Everyone runs out of gas a little bit, and right here, he just takes a really poor angle. That's just a poor yeah. angle to that try. That should have been a Mahomes five yard down. gain, right? Yeah, should have been. Yeah. And now you're now you're San Francisco. You're tired. You've done a pretty good job, like to this point in the game, for long stretches, yep. holding off the Kansas City offense. But like, what are you thinking now inside the 15 yard line? Super Bowl's on the line. You're thinking this is yeah, it. Still this is seeing body language. Look at this dude on yeah. the all fours. He's like everyone's going. Oh my gosh, dude! How do we stop these dudes? How do we right. stop these dudes? How like, do we get here? What it, are we doing? You, like, how do I how do I dethrone the king? And 15's like you don't. Is that why? Just, just real quick to go back to the uh, the zero this play right here. All right, I think <clears throat> there was some criticism. Steve Wilkes, defensive coordinator, right for the Niners. There was some criticism around like football, internet, football, Twitter. That why would you zero blitz Patrick Mahomes? And my my just like couch potato answer is you got you got to try something, right? Like you he's he's picking you apart either way. D- did you take issue with? No. With, with this no. defensive it's, call here? You don't let the guy who can sit back there and pick you apart sit back there and pick you apart. If anything, you force a bad throw. You force him off his spot. You force as much chaos around him so that yeah. something messes with him. The last thing they wanted Tom to do was sit back there and have time. Don't do that. They're precision throwers. He can put the fucking ball anywhere on the field that he wants. That is not a question. The only problem becomes, can we do it while he's running as fast as he can away from Eric Armstead or Nick Bosa? That's when all of a sudden those things, bad things start happening. That's why I'm not against the zero, but we're against bringing zero and not getting home. Like yeah. if you're going to do it, it's feast <laughs> well, or fucking famine. Well, that, you're betting, you don't get you're there, betting someone's going to win their one-on-one right. matchup. And if you don't, what do you think the best – quarterback's gonna do he's gonna pick you apart somehow like that's why it's this this was the ball game play for me this this is when i knew the game was over this quick little tight end screen that we've seen them run a ton and first of all if kelsey follows his blockers he scores Mm. like the game should have ended on this play like if you go back right when he catches this so again bluffing bosa right trying to get bosa to take the cheese this is what you do to great pass rushers you put a bunch of crazy stuff in front of them so they don't know what's happening so they can't just pin their ears back and go but like right here he's thinking oh i have a one-on-one with travis kelsey i'm gonna beat the brakes off this dude and he's like okay get outside just gonna go to pacheco boom if kelsey turns up right there just to and and just follow 74, 74 right? they walk into the end zone and this game is over like maybe Bosa catches him on the, but like I think this is a touchdown right here, and he ends up coming all the way back across the grain. Uh, but once they got first and down, first down from down here, you knew you knew this game was done for. Yeah. I thought they were going to shove him in. You know, you, you get yeah. the extra five yards. Get the old the, the, the old push, push in here. Yeah. Oh, dude, look at that bile of bodies. Just, <sighs> just a, everyone's so tired. That's what my wife kept saying. She's got. She kept going. Everyone looks just it's exhausted. Nice. Yeah. Like no, everyone, the Chiefs defense was tired too. Dude, was everyone like, was yeah. exhausted. Like I can't imagine your your tank had to be on just empty after this game. And here's the play. This is the game corn dog. Here. Corn dog. Oh, let me talk. It's a great design, incredible. and I love just. It's look. He's like, did I do it? Did I, did I do it? Should I keep did, the ball? I don't did know. I win? Did we win? What are the rules? Oh God, dude. I so Algretti Algretti throws a no hitter here, which is the craziest part of it. Like out the left, so the left guard's pulling across here. He's supposed to block Bosa, but again, Bosa takes the cheese. Like Bosa's trying to force the big play. He didn't let the play come to him. 
right? So as Al Gretti's pulling here, first of all, he looks like he's about to throw up in his stance. <laughs> like he's so he tired. Does. Look, and so he's like, I gotta go block Bosa. So he pulls across here, and Bosa tries to undercut him, like really quickly here. He's like, okay, it's got to be. He thinks it's a run to McKinnon. Right, so he tries to go to blow up the McKinnon run, which again allows Patrick outside. And Fred Warner here has to make a decision. Like, I'm the scrape player. Do I run up here? Because I think someone's supposed to be. I think Ward misses. Go back to the wide. Ward yeah, w- falls asleep, and what happens is Michael Hardman goes in motion, and so Ward starts to bump in, right? And so all of a sudden he goes, "Okay, I'll take the tight end. Watch this. Go slow." Yeah. He goes in, and then the corn dog motion is actually they. They bid on it, so now you go back out. Watch this. He goes in. Ward comes in and goes, okay, now I'm moving in, so it's zone. And all of a sudden, he loses him at the last second right there behind two tight ends. See how they do that sometimes? They get guys to disappear because you see these two, and you forget that he's behind them. And now all of a sudden, he just slips out. That's why he's so, completely open. So dumb question for you guys. is it? So you're talking about seven here, right? You're talking about yes. – So he's, he's got right, – right now, Ward has – Ward is matched up right here. Correct. So here's my dumb question. When Hardman starts to motion across the line, does he say in his head, oh, he's he's full motion. He's, cr- yes. he's full motion across the line. This is, this we is would what call they did a, last year to win this Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah we right? would call I this mean, like a fly motion. He thinks it's a fly motion across because he's going starting down as the snaps in its motion. So, so he thinks he's just going to run all the way through. But what he does yeah. is put the brakes on and comes back out. And once it's again, genius. Travis Kelsey's in front of him. So Ward goes instantly. His eyes go to Kelsey. Right, because he takes the next man. That's his job. See, and now all of a sudden you can't even see my Cole Hardman behind you, and that's how he becomes that wide ass open. Mm-hmm. And that's once Look again, that, man. you're playing chess while they're playing checkers. It's the Andy Reid dude. He yeah. is fucking awesome. Andy, the way he draws this up, the ability of Andy Reid to scheme, and then the ability of Mahomes to execute is the true greatness that is yes. Kansas City right now. Like, yes, Mahomes is the greatest, and he puts on an absolute clinic anytime he has the football. But Andy Reid is putting him in position A every time and going, okay, now you execute at a high level. Yeah. When you have that type of yin and yang going on there, it's crazy. It's, that's why Shanahan's going, I don't know how I beat this. I, I don't know. The AFC West going, like Jim Harbaugh's going. That's why I'm like, Harbaugh, are you sure you want to jump back in this one, dude? You're in the wrong division. But, hey, listen, we, we would be fucked up if we didn't give this DC a little bit of love because Spags – was on one. Yeah, Spags, what his defense, Spags got it done in the second half. What he was able to do, and people are always like, oh, what's so crazy about a blitz? Like, well, you cannot see it coming. You don't know if you're guessing right or wrong. And eventually, you're going to guess wrong. And the quarterback's going to be like, oh, shit. And that's why they're so crazy. And lining everybody up everywhere. Like, the way the defense came through for them this year. And, I mean, they were really a lot of the reason they were in that Super Bowl. Especially oh, Chris Jones. Like, huge, huge props Dude, look, look at the offenses and the quarterbacks they stifled on the route just to get Dude, to the Super Bowl, right? Unreal, too. Crazy. I mean, just the fact that Chris Jones, head coach, Chris Jones had three plays in the playoffs that are going to make him $100 million. Easily. Like, knocking into Josh Allen and not allowing him to complete that ball for a touchdown yeah. at the end of that game. What he was able to do to stop the run against the Ravens. Like, he had a couple huge TFLs on, sh- on sh- like short yardages. And then this week, when he didn't get blocked... And he was able to affect Brock Purdy, which what would have been a touchdown to a, to Dench Jennings to win the fo- to win the Super Bowl. Those three plays are why you paid him what he wanted, and why he's probably not going to be able to be a chief next year because he's going <laughs> to need to make a hundred million dollars. Dude, it's wild. Uh, so hey, and we will give you, we'll show you the the, the one Chris Jones play from yesterday on another film review, but. Uh, Chiefs, congratulations! It's a dynasty. You've got the goat quarterback, one of the goat coaches. And uh, if you guys enjoyed this breakdown here, give the O Line Committee YouTube channel a like, click, and a subscribe, click, and we'll see you guys down the road here.